you can wear a lot of different hats as well. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL hats up to 30% off the new Washington hats also available. Trucker, snapbacks, flat brims as well. All different kinds of hats here, Tom. They even got the bucket hats, by the way, which are not my style, but they're apparently quite popular on Fanatics. Every NFL team has a ridiculous variety of hats, so here's what I would do. Head over to chatsports.com slash NFL hats. Left side of your screen, you'll see your favorite team. Click the expand whether you're a Cowboys fan, a Bears fan, a Niners fan, a Chiefs fan, whatever. Click your favorite team. There's going to be a litany of options for you. If you're looking to become an offensive coordinator or just a coordinator in general, your chances go up 5% by buying a bucket hat is what I've been told. Chatsports.com slash NFL hats. Dan F., John Ross to the Packers for a second or third round pick. I, I don't know what planet on which John Ross is worthy of even a fifth round pick. Yeah. I, he's just I not that good he, enough. I get that he's fast. He's, what, the fourth, fifth best option on that? He's on, I mean, in terms fourth? of receivers, he still might honestly be wide receiver three. But, like, I guess there's I said just, option. Yeah, option. Like, there's, he's not, he's just not worth that. He's not worth that whatsoever. So, the Bengals, look, maybe they could explore it, or I guess maybe fourth option if you're including T. Higgins, but yeah, he's not worth a third. There's, just, there's simply no way the Packers would even consider that trade. As weird as they've been run, you know, the past couple of months. Brian, A.J. Green to the Raiders. Could it happen? I'll say no. I, I don't see a scenario where A.J. Green's going to get traded by the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, once I think the, the Bengals are going to be hopefully smart and get a long-term deal done next year. But even from a money perspective for the Raiders, the second that they guarantee Tyrell, Tyrell's contract, they can't afford to bring on yeah, so right now, too much money. Uh, according to this, right as we're making this video right now, the Raiders are at about $8 million in terms of cap salary space. You're going to have to pay A.J. Green 17.8. Yeah, That's your number, you're, right? You're a good 10 store. Yeah, sorry. Ethan Gray, what's up, my man? Collier and two thirds for Yannick and Gakwe. Yeah, you know, I, I appreciate you getting creative there, so Ethan. Like throwing in a former first round pick for L and LJ Collier. He didn't do anything last year. His value is is not high. And frankly, I didn't think he was a first round pick when he came out. Anyway, he went late first rounds because Seattle does weird stuff in the first round. I don't think Collier and two thirds get it done for Yannick. I I, I think you're missing a legitimate powerful asset that's either a first or a high second. You don't have that in there. So intern Dylan was wondering how old y'all are. So he's looking for a date to take to a wedding. Only can be 21 and under. So throw in the comments section how old you are. That way Dylan you can find out weird. and he can DM you. So D, uh, Daniel TSE says 12. Perfect. Uh, the Reaper 26. David 56. Ultimate Sports TV 13. I've been told that I need to say that that's not true. My last statement. Even though, oh my God, bro. Is 25 years old. Uh, Robin is 14. Naot is 13. I do think it's funny that we're getting only ages under 21. <laughs> They're interested. And then we get a 89 and a 28. Continue. How old are y'all? Let us know. The ultimate sports TV. Alshon Jeffrey to Green Bay. Uh, I think he would fit what they're trying to do on offense. He right now, I believe, is unhealthy or he's on the he's he's, he's, on, the he's, pup on, list. he's on the pup list i don't think he's going to be good to go for week one might not be good to go for like the make, middle what, like of, of the year, this year yeah though? the only way the eagles can really dump him is if they trade him i don't think green bay or any team outside of maybe the jets there's some familiarity there have interest so i think the packers end up saying no yellow thunder 29 interesting name greg ward of the packers for a fourth a lot of Packers. why questions. are we trying to steal from green bay today what did the Packers do to everybody? Why are we offering up bad receivers for mid-ish to early round picks? Greg Ward's not worth a fourth. Eagles fans always make a big deal. Oh, he's a practice squad player. Now you're going to get a fourth for him? Come on, guys. Pick, pick, pick one. It looks like pick he's one. an Eagles fan, so makes sense. All right, Alan, what's up, dude? Jalen Ramsey to the Raiders. So this has been a common, Ooh. we'll say, trade rumor. However... Jalen Ramsey is not going to get traded, at least not anytime soon. Now, what if the Rams start the year 0 and 7, or whatever it is they have had before the trade deadline? Perhaps, but then I don't think it's the Raiders that go out and trade for him. I think it's another team really okay. battling it out there for the playoff spot. What if the Raiders are 6 and 1 at that point, but Trayvon Mullen just got hurt? Sure, then you're at least going to throw. I got him to there. say yes. But Jalen Ramsey, he's going to test free agency in 2021. I do think, though, the top two teams. Remember, Jalen Ramsey on Boston with the boys back last offseason. 
that the top two teams that he'd want to play for either the Las Vegas Raiders or, or the Tennessee Titans. Speaking of the Raiders, who's the better quarterback, Derek Carr or Jimmy Garoppolo? So Carr's been a little salty. Jim Garoppolo did just lead his team to a Super been Bowl. Dead sea salt. Let us know, DC or JG. Where are you going, Tom? I'm going Jimmy Garoppolo. Really? Yeah, I'm going Garoppolo. Oh, I'm going to go Derek Carr. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go DC. I don't even think it's close. I would much rather have Derek Carr than Jimmy Garoppolo. How am I crazy? You Jimmy wilding, Garoppolo. bro. Jim, Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. Oh, my God. Derek Carr? Yes, I'll take Derek Carr any day over Jimmy Garoppolo. Why? Because he's a, clearly a better quarterback. Okay. If you say so. That's a great reason, Mitch. He is. Look at I think when you honestly look at the numbers and look at the piece yeah. that Derek has dealt with, it, I don't even think it's close with Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay. Yeah, this is, Get uh, out of here. Are, are you Frosty, whatever his name was? I can't believe all these people in the back here are saying Jimmy Garoppolo. That's mind-blowing to me. I don't know why you're me. saying Derek Carr. No effing way. All right, GL <laughs> underscore NFL. OJ Howard, Shaquille Barrett for Patrick Peterson and a third or second round pick. I, the Bucks say no. no. I think you only need to give up a third Probably for Peterson, because I think the only reason why then the Arizona Cardinals trade Peterson is if they're at it. The, the thing I don't like doing is creating a need to fill another need. If you trade away Shaq Barrett, all of a sudden you've got one pass rusher. Yeah. And you probably are a little bit thinner at tight end than what you want. So I, I think I think the Bucks say no there. I mean, yeah, I, I clearly think they say no. All right, Archer Johnson, penny to the Bucks for a six. I'm guessing Rashad Penny? Yeah, Penny's on the, on the pup list right now as well. In terms of the the value, I I don't think it's that outlandish. If, if he gets healthy, maybe he's more worth of, of, of like a fifth. Yep. But I think with just the with the way running backs have value in terms of trades, I think that could be about right if Seattle wants to bail on him already. Ethan Gray, you're next up here. Marquise Blair and a first for Yannick and A lot of Yannick now, questions. Now this one is better. The the <laughs> problem here is that it's not a 2021 first, it's not a 2022 first, it's a 2023 first round pick. Because Seattle traded away two for Jamal Adams. Very so true. If, if, Very if, true. If, if this were a 2021 first, I think this actually would have gotten it done. However, here's my argument. Worked. Do the Jacks have a better chance of winning than 2021 or 2023? 2023, but it doesn't matter because a, a current year first, with the way NFL teams value it, okay. is worth more valuable than a pick Two years from now, because if you're Dave Caldwell and, and you're the you're the front office and you're Doug Marone, you might not ever see that pick because you might true. get fired. So future p picks are always at a discount compared to current year picks. Are you subscribed to the channel? Give us a Y for yes or type N for no. If you are sub, type Y. I'll give you a shout out. If you haven't subscribed to Chat Sports yet, please do. We got over 1,191 people watching. And I know not all of y'all are subscribed. So if you want a shout out, hit that sub button and then start typing Y. Naode Yime, what's up, dude? Juan Hernandez, Snippig Douglas. We got the Ultimate Sports TV, Julian Rivera, Manny Villegas, Sixer Lax, Banana Bolt. And then one more, we got John Dorman. Appreciate you. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. And remember, we go live Monday, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Dale Webb Jr., you're next up here. Nelson Aguilar for a fourth round pick. The Raiders would do it. <laughs> yeah, the Raiders no, would do that. No very other NFL quickly. team would. Uh, <laughs> you can just wait till he gets cut in the, during the season or before the season. Like, I don't think he gets cut. What we're doing today, and I respect the hell out of you guys, what we're doing today is what I do in all of my Madden uh, franchises. I sign players for no guaranteed money. And then I trade them for second, third, and fourth round picks. I traded Frank Gore like two weeks ago for a second rounder. That that's what we're doing here. We're just we're just attaching picks to players who don't carry anywhere near the same value. Imagine taking that much thought process and playing a video game. Yeah, that's, that's how I end up getting at the top five pick every year. Good for you, Tom. Good for you. All right, Ra Ra Rohit Rohit Rohit. You legitimately need glasses. I can't see. Please it. go to the. Eye I didn't doctor. want to say. I don't know. Please All go right. to the eye doctor. Tevin Coleman, Dante Pettis, Solomon Thomas to the Packers for a third and a fourth. This is the great cap space for clowning. The Packers say no. Like They, they don't have any need for Tevin Coleman. Correct. Because they just drafted A.J. Dillon. They have a better back in Aaron Jones. Yep. Dante Pettis is bad. Solomon Thomas is maybe worth a late-round pick. So this would create some cap space, sure, 
but there's no way that the Packers would even consider this trade. I hate to admit it, Tom, these face masks are pretty These are awesome, sick. right? Uh, go to chatsports.com slash stay safe. If you do plan on going to an NFL game, you will have to wear a mask. If you go out in public, you also have to wear a mask. Tom, what do you got to say? Uh, those, that, that USA theme, it's not just for the Cowboys, folks. Those are available for all NFL teams. Our friends over from Axe just put out a whole bunch of new face masks. They've got the, the neck covering ones as well. I actually prefer that. It just feels more comfortable for me. Favorite team, whatever it is, they've got a bunch of options for you. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. Will you go to an NFL game this year? One for yes, zero for no. If you do plan on going, remember, yeah, chatsports.com slash stay safe. Tom, will you go to an NFL game this year? I'm not sure if we're going to be allowed to go. <laughs> um, if, if we're allowed to, I, I would strongly consider it. it will, will Everyone will be safely distanced. The Cowboys haven't shut it down yet completely. If I'm allowed to go, I, I'd consider it. I just I don't know if we're going to be able to. buy a suite. To. You're good. That's not how it works. <laughs> Now, uh, Use one that yes. with my $0 bank account. Yeah, one for yes, zero for no. I, at this current juncture, do not plan on going. However, I agree with Tom. I would love to be able to go, and I see everyone type in one if allowed, GL underscore NFL. I've been told two more questions, so if you want your question featured, go ahead and super chat real quick. Patrick Peterson to the Dallas Cowboys after letting Byron Jones leave. Okay, what do you, what do you got for me, Tom? I, I would explore it, but I think it would have to be a deadline trade. Because yep. Arizona is trying to compete this year. For Trading sure. away Patrick Peterson does not help that. So if they struggle to start the year, maybe give him a call. OBJ to the Dolphins. Why are you mad? Uh, the Browns aren't going to trade him right now. Now, in terms of potential uh, fits, we said that there's, about the Giants. there's something deliciously ironic about Jarvis Landry getting sent from Miami to Cleveland and his best friend getting sent from Cleveland to Miami. It makes sense for Miami, depending on the cost, because boom, you got OBJ with Tua, you got Preston Williams, you had Devontae Parker. That's a pretty awesome receiving core. I just don't think the Browns are seriously considering it at this juncture. 